today I'm going to talk about the second book, Ruins of Empire. This is a more detailed gazetteer of the world of Birthright with some good pictures. It tells you more about this world. And there's a whole bunch of abbreviations because there are different people. So it's divided into regions. Tells you a little about each kingdom here. And about important people in this kingdom. So well, the production is really good. I really like the, the way it looks, but I hate this world. It seemed to me very bland, except for that little bit about the gods infusing their bloodline, their power onto various bloodlines. It was just another boring copy of Tolkien. I love Tolkien. But it's a shame that TSR never had the rights to do a Tolkien world. That would have been awesome. But their copies are never as good. This is why I don't like Greyhawk and Forgotten Realms and Dragonlance and Mystara very much. Because they're just too much like, the, like Tolkien. Um, Toril, I was able to buy into for a while because I liked that it had non-European places. It had an Order of Adventures place and an Arab place and an Africa. And the map had a, an Australia, though they did, never did delineate what's actually on there. But anyway. And there's temples. And here's another section with people on it. Yeah, so this is just more detail than the other book. Temples, guilds, and sources will make more sense when I get into the rule book. That. There's Gorgon's Crown. Yeah, so it's not to me a very interesting world, but I really like the game system that comes with it. So I just don't like the world. And there's a little adventure called Family Matters. This is an adventure using the rules that come with this box set. There are rules for running a kingdom. Say all, all the way back to probably before Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, when you became really high level, you would establish some sort of domain, a keep, or a wizard's tower, or a thieves' guild, or something like that, and retire. And so this is all about running that domain.
And here's nomenclature. So you gotta learn a name of domain, the residence of domain, plural of the residence of domain, things from that domain. Seems awful complicated. That's, that's one of the problems I have with other people's game worlds is you have to learn a whole new language, places, history, and all that when it just makes more sense to just use real history because there's lots of that. And you don't have to make up names from different cultures. You've got France, France and England and Germany and Greece and Italy and the Ottoman Empire. And there are lots of names of history and culture in the real history. Anyway, that is the Ruins of Empire, the other gazetteer for this game world.